Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you the clone effect, which can do some very cool things. I'm in Adobe After Effects. The clone effect also works in Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, and Motion. I have a clip in my comp. Clone Pro is located in Effect, and I distort. If I start going through the presets and effect controls, you'll see that this effect merely clones a portion of the video clip and allows you to creatively position the clone. The two handy targets on my video clip allow me to easily change the source and the destination of my clone. Since these cars are in motion, I'm going to get a little fancy and motion track one of the cars and blow it up like it's being magnified in a picture in picture. Let's track this red car by clicking Track Motion, move our tracker point around, and then click the Analyze Forward button. Results may vary when you're motion tracking. Tracking a distinctive feature works best. Now the tracking data is assigned to this clip. One of the many cool features of After Effects is the ability to use expressions. An expression is like a little script that, in its simplest use, allows you to tie one value to the input of another. I'll select the source parameter of the clone effect down on my timeline and then select Animation, Add Expression. Then I'll tie this parameter to the tracking data with the handy pick whip. Now the clone effect picture in picture window I've created has the red car in it the whole time because the motion tracker is feeding it the tracking data. Now I'll reposition my clone effect. I have complete control over size, shape, opacity, and even the softness of the edge. Remember that you can read more about any of these settings in the online help by clicking on the FX Factory logo. To finish up my effect, I'm going to create a composite. I'll duplicate this whole clip. On the bottom clip, I'll delete the clone effect and return the clip to normal. On our top clip, I'll set the clone's compositing mode to exclude, which will just turn off the source and leave only our clone on the screen. Now I can add effects to each clip independently. I'll add some color correction to our clone to make it ultra vivid and saturated. I'll use the FX Factory Spotlight plugin on my bottom footage to add a dramatic vignette. I'll desaturate it to turn it to black and white. To finish up, I'll add some text to make this look like a racing promo for TV. FX Factory Pro offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.